Hey folks, show you what I'm doing here. I'm putting the hammocks up now, or one of them at least. I got that one gluing on, clamping the super glue, that limb. But I'm um, just going to split one of these in half and put it right there. And then get that right right now all right and then I'll hang this one will be hanging up like right there all right and then I'll do another one on the other side over here and what I'm using for the hammock is a okay applied shirt I just cut it up into a strip like this part right here is going to be the other hammock. I'll trim it all up later before I put it on there, but these are all the pieces trimmed off from the other one. But that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, all that came off of that shirt sleeve. <laughs> but that's what I got going on. Um, Still working on Steven here. Doing my best to try to get him to look like Steven. Kind of hard doing it with wood. If I was using pencil and paper, I could make them look identical, but trying to do art or portraits on wood is totally different. <laughs> and I'm new at it, so it is what it is. But he's getting there. I mean, close. Still got to put some more hair on the side over there, I think. Tony almost looks like Tony, but it looks like I aged him maybe 10 years. <laughs> Alright, get back with y'all later. Hey folks, I'll show y'all what I'm doing here. You've seen on some of my birdhouses how I make the axes. Well, this is uh, back to a computer. It's sheet metal. And what I'm doing right now is I already cut this part out or off of there. Break it on off. Maybe. That blasted that thing don't want to come off. So I cut that strip off already. Now what my plan is, this is one of them things where I wing it and just kind of guess stuff as I go. I just had this great idea where in between where Tony and um, Steven sit, I can put this log right in between them. And if I can make two hunting knives, you know, that'll be sticking out of the log, one on each side, you know, like that but make knives that'll look really cool so just to give you an idea show you how I'm doing it here make sure y'all can see that yeah all right this thing gets too hot to hold so I'm holding it with the log <laughs> like that
I got this piece done. Ow. So I'm going to draw out a couple knives on there. And um, I'll get back with y'all when I get that done. They don't have to be itty bitty knives, so it's going to be kind of complicated, but give me a few minutes. Alright, instead of drawing it, because the pencil don't show up on there good enough for me to follow, I'm just using one of my knives. This is one a guy named um, Outdoors California sent me. Outdoors and Gear California. I'm just using this as something to look at and go by. So I'm going to kind of cut it. It ain't going to be just like that or in the shape of that. Just something to keep an idea in my mind of how I want it. And then I'm just going to wing it. I'm not going to film that because it seems like it would be boring to sit here and watch me do that. That's going to take a long time. But um, I'll let you see when I'm done. Bye. Alright y'all. This is the first one. If I can get it out of there. How well y'all can see that. Ow, ow, ow. That's the blade. And then that'll go into a piece of wood for the handle. I'll make a handle for it. And I'll take it to my grinder over there and shake it up after it gets warm. I mean, cool. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll get back to y'all later. And here's the second one, y'all. Now let me go um, put them on the grinder and grind them up and I'll get back with y'all. Alright folks, show you what I just did. I took a dowel, a regular dowel, and used the smallest drill bit I got and drilled a hole in the end of that dowel. And I'll, what I'll do is put super glue in it and then there's that much of the knife. But um, then I'm going to sand all this down into a handle, of course. But then that'll be it. Alright, show it to y'all when I get done. Show y'all how I'm finishing it up here. That's the Dremel that Jason Fishaholic sent me. Alright, you see I got it down to there. Pretty much that's just guidelines for right now. Kind of like that. Now, touch it up a little bit more. Edge off here, so. And there it is. I don't know how good 
if y'all can see that. Poking in my finger. Y'all see that good? And I'm going to put glue in there and then I'll press it in as far as it'll go. And that'll be it. And then, I'll show you one more thing how I do this. Let's see here. Now, on this stump here, I just take a regular knife, my knife. Let's see, I'm going to want that one poking like. All I do is poke my knife in it, and once I get this glued on and everything. Stick in there just like that, and I'll put some super glue in there so it don't fall out. And then there you have it. And I'll color that handle brown. All right, I'm gonna do the other one like that, and get back with y'all later.